Deep beneath the surface of the ocean, where the mysterious dance of marine life unfolded, there existed a creature that defied comprehension. Not a jellyfish, not a fish, not a worm or even a mollusk, it was the salpa. A piece of jellied meat, floating under the trendy motto, without breaks. Its transparent body seemed to be there and not there, resembling a fish yet devoid of scales. Inside this enigma lay a mysterious orange dumpling, a puzzle wrapped in the soft embrace of the sea. As the underwater currents gently guided the salpa through the vastness of the ocean, its existence became an anomaly that captured the imagination of those who chanced upon it. It was a proud representative of the notochord, a soft tissue ball that preceded the formation of the spine, making salps closer to humans than initially perceived, even closer than the graceful octopuses that adorned the ocean depths. Yet, for all its proximity, the organization of the salpa was simplicity embodied. A simple sack of skin muscles, controlled by a solitary nerve node, dictated its movements. Within this node resided an eye, a rudimentary organ that could distinguish between light and shadow, serving a purpose limited to the navigation of the abyssal depths. The salpa, in all its uniqueness, led a carefree life, sailing through the oceans, filtering water, and finding nutrients. But beneath the surface of this seemingly uncomplicated existence lurked subtleties that elevated the creature to an even greater marvel, the metagenesis. It all began with the growth of a structure resembling a slider on its body, the stolen, a long ribbon birthing dozens, even hundreds of young salps. When these progenies attained a certain size, they embarked on independent journeys, endowed with both male and female reproductive organs. The joy of parenthood, however, was short-lived for the young salps. Their asexual descendants found themselves in the lacuna, a peculiar analogue to a placenta, where they fed on the sustenance provided by their parents. Alas, the cycle was not without sacrifice. In the absence of conventional openings for entry and exit, the young salps, in their insatiable hunger, tore the very bodies that birthed them, a grim dance of life and death in the ocean's embrace.